In sweep number six, we look at the first of the near 10 strategies, and this is for adding nine um, in both directions, starting with nine, adding another number two nine. So uh, here's the, the first example. You'll find this in the Think Bubble Math uh, resource as well. Five plus nine or nine plus five, we would represent it the same way. Nine always starts on the left because we want place value to be considered when we um, get to 10. So the strategy we're going to use is this one, that there is a known fact, 5 plus 10 equals 15. So we can sort of put that in a bit of a bubble, not a very neat bubble. So we'll say to the students, if this was 10, what would the answer be? 10 plus 5, and that's not a counting on question or a memorized fact question. It's simply place value. We have 10 and 5. We would have a 1 here and a 5 there for the 1, 10 and the 5 ones. It's clearly 15. That's a basic understanding of um, a teen number. But if it was only 9 add 5, how much would that be? So knowing that 5 plus 10 equals 15, what if we change the 10 for a 9? What would this become? And in the Think Bubble Math resources, a little minus 1 appears. It would be one less because nine is one less than 10. The answer will be one less than 15. Looking at the resources, as always, we can ask the students to visualize it before we move the counter. So they should see that this one really belongs there. And then of course, we've got 14. So this covers the turnaround facts as well, as I mentioned before. Uh, the second resource is an open number line. So I'm gonna try and squeeze it in here. So if we start with an arbitrary position and call that 9, 10 is the next number, so let's mark 10 there as well, and that of course is a hop of 1. If we're starting from 9, as we did here, we start with a bigger number, and we're adding 5, if it's one step or one hop to 10, we want to know how far it is, this is a bit squeezed, if it was a hop of 5. So because this part is 1, the next part would be a hop of 4, meaning that this number will be 10 plus 4 or 14. Okay, so that's basically the strategy in a nutshell, done in either direction, starting with 9 or adding 9 to another number. Think of adding 10, find one less, and that's the answer. That's it for this sweep. I look forward to talking to you in the next one where we look at plus 8 near 10 facts. See you then.